Hey everyone, I'm Chris with Create Text Colors, and today we're going to talk about which paint is right for you. Uh, this is a, a question that comes up quite frequently now on our, on our tech page, and, and we get questions, especially with uh, all the YouTube video and content that we've been doing. Uh, we get asked quite a bit what paint is right for me. How do I decide across the line? So this is a video that's going to kind of help you guys break down the products and the nuances in the product lines and maybe help you guys decide which paint is right for you. So we're going to start with our Createx airbrush colors. These are the original airbrush paints. They're made to cover quickly. They're bright, heavily saturated colors that are perfectly suited for the t-shirt artists. The t-shirt painters love uh, this paint. So these are made uh, with an acrylic resin. They're water-based colors made with an acrylic resin that is softer. So it's what we refer to as that soft hand feel. And it, again, it's perfectly suited for those textiles and fabrics. Uh, generally speaking, they perform very well out of a 0.5 or larger tip size airbrush. And uh, you're going to want to spray these a little bit higher PSI, so a little higher in the, the PSI settings. Um, while they're great on textiles, they're kind of a good general all-purpose paint across the board. So they work great for hobbyists, arts and crafts, and even uh, well-suited for painting things like wood. So that's kind of a general overview of our Createx airbrush colors. Okay, moving on to the Wicked colors. Now, the Wicked colors are very similar to the Createx airbrush colors line uh, in that they are both water-based acrylics. They both use light fast pigments, but the resin system in the Wicked colors is a little bit harder, so it makes it better suited for harder substrates, things like plastics. Um, the transparent line, uh, the transparent colors in the, in the Wicked colors line, uh, generally speaking, are more transparent than the Createx airbrush transparents and the new opaques, the new Wicked opaque colors are more opaque than the airbrush opaques. Uh, these are kind of a general purpose right across the entire broad range of uh, usage. Uh, you can use these for t-shirts. Uh, they're very well suited for RC cars, uh, models, uh, painting plastics, painting wood, anything really, any general hard surface application all the way up to actually automotive type applications. They perform well out of a 0.35 to 0.5 tip airbrush, right around 30 PSI. That's kind of the sweet spot. Now we refer to these as multi-surface and these truly are a, a Again, all-encompassing multi-surface paint line in Create Texas line, and it's, it's the broadest, most extensive range of colors that we have to date, and it includes uh, pearlized colors, metallics, fluorescence, and pearl effect colors, pearl effect flakes from small, large, and medium sizes. So this is kind of that one-stop paint line. If, if you're not really familiar with Create Texas, if you're new to Create Texas, this would be the line that we recommend you to, because it is that workhorse uh, of that one stop does everything that you would need. Okay, last we're going to move on to our Createx Illustration Colors line. Now this is our flagship series of airbrush paints uh, designed for superior atomization at lower PSI settings and a smaller tip size airbrush. Now these are, again, these are acrylic, these are water-based acrylic resins. Uh, these are uh, made of the same type of light fast pigments across our entire color lines, but the resin system in this particular line is different in that it actually is designed to dry, to cure a little bit slower. So it gives you more time to manipulate your paintwork in terms of detail for erasing or that redactive technique and scratching and doing anything you would have to do in, in that illustration type of, of setting. Um, these are the most transparent in terms of transparency across the Createx line. These are the most transparent colors, uh, only second to the Candy 2.0 system, but that's 100% dye, so that's a, a totally different animal. Um, these are, again, designed to flow through any tip size airbrush, but they perform extremely well without reduction, and they will perform even better with, with a smaller tip size airbrush at those lower PSI settings. So we have a pretty expanded color palette in here as well. We have two lines from a special effects painter, Tim Gore. He has his bloodline, which are a little bit darker, muted, uh, dark colors. Uh, and then he has the lifeline, which are a little brighter uh, skin tone, flesh tone type colors, and it's, it work great together. Uh, we also have an opaque line of colors, and we have a grayscale line of colors. So there's pretty much anything you need for those illustration uh, type applications. Okay, last we're going to cover a uh, reducer and two additives that uh, we, we recommend with our paint system. So. All of these paints, all of this entire line is designed to spray out of the bottle. 
Uh, so reduction isn't necessary, but for better flow, a little better performance, uh, helping with dry times, again, all dependent on kind of the tip size of airbrush that you're using, our 4011 reducer is what we recommend. This is our go-to reducer across our entire Createx line of colors. Uh, it's compatible with all of them, right around 10% per volume is kind of that general sweet spot, but you can make adjustments uh, from there, especially again, like whatever tip size airbrush you're using. Uh, and then we'll move on to our 4030 balancing clear and our 4050 UV LS gloss. Now, this is not a must. You don't have to add these uh, materials to the Createx paints, but we found that for automotive type application, what we refer to as automotive, hard surface applications like aluminums, um, hard surface motorcycle tins, uh, helmets, this is going to make the paint perform that much better, especially in that hard surface application. So what you're doing is you're taking an acrylic and you're creating an acrylic urethane. So it helps in terms of durability, uh, taping, and, and any kind of graphic type application. And uh, this is, again, a great product for that. So we have the 4030, right around 10 to 20 percent, or the 4050, uh, right around 10 to 20 percent addition. And it really helps. It's better suited. The 4050 uh, is better suited for heavier flakes, our, our larger pearl flakes and our metallics, it helps with the orientation of the metallic and it helps with the actual film build. It, like, it lets them lay down a little bit smoother, a lot less texture, which is very helpful, again, for doing graphic work and tape outs. If you have multiple applications, this is a really great product for that. And so what you're doing, just to touch on that one more time, is it's going to make any of these paints, it's going to make the Createx or the Wicked perform very similar in the attributes by adding these two, two additives. What you're doing, again, is creating an acrylic urethane, so it makes them better in terms of mar resistance and scratchability. It just really helps that bite. So for more information, you can check us out at creatextech.com and check out the product uh, data, detect data sheets on these. And uh, for now, I'm Chris Arpin with Createx Colors, and I'll see you guys next time. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>